Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm checking out Antelope Audio's first venture into the low mid audio interface bracket and it's the Zengo Synergy Core. So Antelope have taken what they did with the Zen Tour and basically made it smaller. They've taken away all the unnecessary inputs and outputs that maybe, you know, a normal person probably doesn't need. So now we've got the Zen Go, which has two XLRs, which also can be line ins as well as instrument ins, two monitor outs, which you can also do either on TRS jacks or RCA jacks, an SB diff in and out, and two headphone outs. And it's powered and connected to your computer via USB-C. That's right, no more clunky external power supplies, which is great. So now you, if you wanna have a laptop, you don't have to have anything plugged in to get studio grade recordings. What surprised me most about the Zen Go was the fact that when I opened OBS, I had eight different channels that I could send to OBS for audio. Now, if anyone's done any streaming or used OBS to record, you know just how much of a pain in the ass it can be to get your audio interface to really work with OBS. It normally only works with inputs one and two. But now I can assign anything that I want to these four stereo pairs or eight mono signals in order to do streaming from just the one interface. With the Zengo, it also has their AFX DSP technology, which means that I can run plugins on the signal with zero latency. And, and with that, it means that, say I was doing a stream, I could have a mic like I've got here, fully affected, ready to go with all of the AFX, no latency. It sounds fantastic. I can even get a guitar sound using the inbuilt guitar uh, amps and cabs and anything else. And they've also got some modulations and stuff in there too, some reverbs. It just, it's just an all in one encompassing audio interface that isn't just meant for people that want high quality recordings, but it's also for people that want to stream in, in, in insane high quality too. There's even a lump loopback function on here. So you can send your computer audio directly through the Zengo and it just works in OBS. It's absolutely incredible for doing that. So anyway, let's talk about um, how we could set this up. So I've got uh, their Antelope Audio Edge Duo mic here and I've only got one side connected. And I'm just going to show, I mean, it's already got um, some effects added to it. But what we can do is if we go to our preamp here and click on this, not only do we can we actually use mic modeling, but we can also add a bunch of effects to our microphone. And if I just bring this closer to me, like so, put that hood up. Then if I take all the effects off, I mean, it still sounds great, but it doesn't sound polished and finished like you'd expect from a microphone. So let's click on the AFX again. And then um, if we unbypass everything, then we get this really in your face sound that we, you know, basically makes it sound more polished and more like a finished vocal. So we have a compressor here. We have an SSL style EQ. I even put a reel to reel emulation on there just for shits and giggles, but it does make it sound quite fat and full. Um, and there's a plethora of effects to choose from, you know, in here we've got, you know, everything from vintage EQ, vintage compressors, mic preamps to gates. We've got a de as well. Maybe we add a de on there and see what it sounds like. Let's just, Let's just really go for it. Let's see. Never used this before. So wet. Hello. Let's see about doing some. Oh, there we go. Yes. So if we do our frequency at around, it's probably around 4K for the. Ch -ch 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 -ch, then we can really get rid of. Oh, yeah. There you go. There it's working. So we can get rid of the S's. S -s and you know, all that other stuff. I think the S's is around 5K to be honest, actually. So let's go up there. We can get rid of all of that horrible There it is. Um, to make the voice sound as finalized as possible. Let's just get rid of that now. Um, let's try it with guitar. So I've obviously got a guitar chain set up here that has actually changed uh, since I unplugged it. 
Um, so let's just get rid of all of this and let's just start again from the beginning. Okay, so now I've got my guitar. Let me just mute these mics. And then I'm gonna focus on the guitar signal. So I'm opening up the AFX again. I've got a DI signal here, and obviously I can change the signal to go from mic line or high Z here. You'll hear a little relay sound from the Zengo. Saying that it's switched. So let's turn it up to about 30. <clears throat> and now we have our guitar DI. Which is too loud. Let's try 25. Still too loud, let's try 22. That's probably about right. I tend to clip preamps anyway. So let's add a new effect. I'm going to start with an EQ and pretend that I'm doing something like I would do in front of an amp. So I'll cut this bottom end just by a tiny little bit and boost the volume. Let's add a compressor, which will act as my volume boost. So let's add the 76 in there and make it not compress very much. Let's have it very fast. A bit more, maybe. There we go. It's literally just touching it. There we go. All right, now let's get a guitar. No, let's get a gate on there. So now we've got a gate. Let's put the attack down to zero, decay down to zero, threshold to about 50 or 60. And then let's add our gate. Not a gate, sorry, our amp. So we've got a modern here, and then we'll add a cab as well. Let's do a modern 4x12. Move our ribbon mic to the middle, our 57 to where the dust cap meets the cone. And let's turn on all of these. So we've got a high pass filter, a low pass filter, and Respire. I don't know what Respire does, but let's just see what it sounds like. Let's turn all these up a little bit. And let's turn the volume up here because I know it's going to be a little bit quiet. So let's do it at eight decibels. And let's see what we've got. a little bit quiet let's try 10. yeah it's clipping there you see so let's try that sounds pretty excellent Let's have a little bit more bass on that. That sounds really excellent to me. Take off the low pass and high pass, then we get sounding like a normal mic would. It's obviously way more aggressive. And we could, I guess we could get rid of the low pass after that so let's go to vintage eq we have our yeah what have we got a high low frequency thing here no let's not try that one let's just use a 4k brown so we've got a filter here that goes from the top let's do it down to five Doing pretty much the same thing, just not as extreme. Let's take the high pass frequency off that. Sounds pretty good. Let's add... Ah, they do the 4K... 4000 compressors now. It's probably not the right one, but it's still pretty cool that that's there. Let's just put on the bus comp. That 
that sounds pretty awesome to me. So not only do I now have a guitar sound, but I also have a mic sound. So if I wanted to uh, to live stream, have my guitar and uh, a guitar and voice going through, I know that I can do it without needing anything else other than my guitar and a microphone. It's a pretty small setup for you know if this is what you wanted to do with streaming. It, it sounds pretty good to my ears. Maybe a little bit more top ends, a little bit more through, maybe boost a bit. So it's the perfect tool for streamers. It's the perfect tool for audio enthusiasts that want studio quality recording. You can connect AFX onto four of the channels, all without a power supply, all with high quality preamps, with good quality effects, and it recognizes the separate stereo outs within OBS Studio. So it's also the perfect streaming device as well. It's absolutely amazing piece of hardware. So Antelope Audio, you've outdone yourselves by cramming all of this technology into a sub 500 pound device. Anyway, that's the Antelope Zen Go. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. So special thanks to Antelope Audio for sending this over. It's a really good device. If you're looking for an interface that you can also use for streaming as well as recording high quality audio, then make sure you check out the Zen Go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.